Hey ho ho, hey. A fast tune. I posted just some pictures about these. Uh... Well, nothing is new actually. I made the tweeters a month ago or something. I made the horns a gazillion years ago. I've got multiple videos where they are in. But now finally the tweeter it became smaller and smaller and now it fits on the horn, which is nice. Uh, and uh, I, I posted the frequency curve, which is uh, rather flattish, to be honest. And uh, well, I made them with the Daytons and I thought I didn't have any room to spare, but in fact I had to pat them 3.5 to B because otherwise it was way too bright. So this is not looking nice, but at least it gives me an idea of what I can do. Because I, I also measured the dispersion of these horns and it's not so bad, I think. I think it's not that bad. So uh, someone mentioned, did you try uh, Tractrix, Tractrix horns? And I said, yes, I did, but it's too much work. Uh, but he might be right. Um, these at least because they're ugly as well but these were not much work to be honest and dispersion is quite good and loading the lower end results in lower distortion so it's kind of a win i can get away with a tweeter that cost me nothing next to nothing but that's not the point i mean it took me a lot of work but anyhow um i just wanted to play one song and and I think people know it because it's a kind of a song that is it's called bubbles and it's uh, electronic music and it makes he makes use always of just general sounds and makes a song of it in this case the theme is bubbles or bouncing balls he called it bubbles but it's actually more balls most of the sounds are balls bouncing so he should have called it balls but it's called Bubbles. I think it's a Japanese uh, dude, and I have no clue how to pronounce his name, I think. Yoshi Horikawa, Ho Horikawa? from the album Wandering. This is gonna be demonetized uh, straight away, and I really have no clue how well the left-right stereo image will transfer to a recording, and then transfer to a YouTube compression, etc, etc. So, I don't know, it's just a... Uh, the thing I'll try it. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this morning I thought I don't want to do anything with speakers today because I've had it. But here we are. Boom. Thank you. 
song. I, uh, I think uh, it's enough. Blah 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 blah. So uh, yeah, uh, if you like uh, wicked stereo images, this is uh, nice music uh, to. Well, I don't know, just for fun. Then Hank V sent me a link of uh, Dominique something something French, uh, where there is smoke. He said, this is a nice song to test, so might as well do it, why not? Uh, yeah, oh, one, one other thing. If you have uh, experience with horns, I don't actually. So I want to remove the top and bottom side because it looks ugly as well. It blocks, of course, some of the top end if you stand up. And I know it will never be perfect because it's not a curved, you know, it's only horizontal a Tractrix horn and vertical, there's nothing happening at the moment. But uh, if they know what happens if I remove those, uh, if you don't have an answer, I'll do it anyway. So I'll make new horns without top and bottom and see what it does. I mean, why not? But if you know, you know, might save some time. Uh, was there another thing? No. So, uh, where there is smoke? Dominique something something. Just too late. 
So uh, yeah, <clears throat> that's it. Nothing special. Um, if you like the content, you might not like this. Maybe more the building stuff. If you want to support me, then please, please do. Would be nice. Thanks in advance. Uh, and I guess tomorrow is another day to get in the shed and make some new horns that are actually the same, but from different material and not with a with a top and bottom, hopefully. Unless someone says, no, no, don't do it, that's really dumb, then uh, I might not. But I might. Well, see you around. Bye-bye.